And so one thought leads to a choice, which leads to a behavior, which creates an experience that produces an emotion. So then new information, new knowledge begins to cause you to think differently. If you can remember that knowledge and begin to make a different choice because you want to experience the truth of that information, <laughs> you'll have to behave differently. And when the experience occurs and you feel the feeling of your abundance or wealth, I guarantee you, you're going to continue wanting to make the process of change something consistent in your life. This is why I love talking to you. I mean, that literally, you could just, what you just said there, I hope everyone listens to it again and again and again. And partly, I think there's something to be said for that. The best things that have rewired my brain and my mind were things that I repeated daily. I took something that I loved listening to or loved learning or reading a paragraph of a book, and I would literally just reprogram myself by giving that to my mind every single day. Yeah. And as I'm listening to you talk, I, I think there's a few really powerful things I wanted to pull out. Uh, when I lived as a monk and studied the Vedas, they would talk about thoughts in different modes. And there are three modes, the mode of ignorance, the mode of passion, and the mode of goodness. And there's a hierarchy to those thoughts. And so the mode of ignorance would be an unfulfilling thought or a completely fear or insecurity-based thought, which would be, I am not worthy, or I am unlucky and I can't do that. I can't be in love. No one can be in love with me. That's like a mode of ignorance thought. A mode of passion thought would be, I can be in love with anyone I want and I can find anything. And uh, it's, it's almost like you know you're lying to yourself and you haven't really you haven't really applied what you're saying and it's just this big, bold statement, but it doesn't quite sit and resonate. And the mode of goodness thought is, I can take steps daily to create love in my life right now. And, and you start to see how people would often look at what we're saying and they think, oh, it's just positive thinking. It isn't, it's not, it's not just a false statement. What you're saying is what you two words you used, intention and attention you're actually being conscious about where that intention and the attention is being placed. You're intending that if I do something every day and I place my attention on X, Y, Z, then I can create this new reality for myself. Whenever I have a tough conversation coming up, a tough meeting, something difficult, I'll rehearse it in my head. And you're so right that you can prepare for the future. Even when I do skydiving or if I'm sitting in a cold plunge, I'm preparing my mind before I even do it, there's no point of just jumping in and diving in. I think what's really interesting is that partly a lot of the anxiety and stress we feel is because we kind of hope that we'll never feel anxiety and stress again. So there's a sense of like, okay, I can get to a place where I never experience anxiety. I, I almost think that that sets us up to be more hurt by the anxiety and inevitable uncertainty will feel. I would love to hear your thoughts. Gosh, that. Let me, I would love to respond to this. We've got three thoughts going on at okay, the same time. Do it. <laughs> so, so to fulfill the first part of that question, it's an experiment, right? It's an experiment. Life is an experiment. So if your personality creates your personal reality and your personality is made up of how you think, how you act, and how you feel, if you keep thinking the same way, you keep acting the same way, you keep feeling the same way, your life is going to stay the same because you're the same. So the experiment is, okay, let me begin to think differently. So I got to remind myself how I do want to think and I have to remind myself of how I no longer want to think so I don't default and go unconscious. Let me remind myself how I'm going to behave so that I could actually get my behaviors to match my intentions and let me remind myself of how I'm going to feel. If I'm able to succeed in that day, then there should be some change in my life. It's the experiment. The, the, and, and, and if it doesn't change, that doesn't mean the law doesn't work for you. It's just, you're not that good yet. It's just, you just gotta keep practicing, right? So the act of disconnecting from your life long enough to remind yourself of who you do wanna be and who you no longer wanna be, that experiment then is the experiment called life. Now, it's not that you react. The question is, how long are you going to react? Mm -hmm. That's the real question. Because I mean, I react all the time, I mean, everybody does. But if you're going to stay there and you're gonna live in that emotional state, you will see life through that lens of that emotion, right? 